welcome back to my channel. It is 719 and I'm about to go into the gym and run. I'm really trying to be a runner girly and it's definitely not easy, but once you get into it, I actually find running is very therapeutic. But anyway, this morning, fam, I woke up at 5 a.m. I just hit 21 days of waking up at 5 a.m. <laughs> Insane. It's become a habit, friends. I didn't know this was possible. This is possible. <laughs> and I've spent time with Jesus. I just love spending time with him in the morning. I can so understand why Jesus woke up before everyone else to just pray and spend time with the Father because there's just a different closeness to him in the mornings when no one's awake. And I'm just like on my hands, just praying. And all I hear are the birds in the back. It's so beautiful. <laughs> but now I'm going into workout. So excited to take you guys through just a normal day in my life vlog there's so much that's new that's happening in my life that I'm just excited to talk to you guys about catch you guys up on things now we're just gonna go in and run every time I struggle to start my run I just say God please give me the strength to finish this workout it's okay for us to pray and ask the father to give us strength and endurance to work out guys every time that I do that he always shows up and he always helps me actually finish the run today I'm doing interval running I'm not like running for 30 minutes straight because I don't think I can do that yet, you guys. It's too hard. In the summer, we'll get there. I'm following this four-week running plan for beginners. I can't go from zero to 100. I have to take it one step at a time. So today, I'm running for five minutes, walking for one minute, and I'm repeating that for five times. <laughs> just finished that oh my goodness that wrecked me we're gonna cross this off our habit tracker ready see we're gonna cross off 5 a.m. wake up oh <gasps> yes now we're gonna cross off workout ready oh there it is we're slaying the day together let's slay the day do a little quick life update what's going on in my life right now is I am hiring a team because for the last two or three years I've been doing all this content creation by myself and there's really a cap to that because you can only create so many videos you can only have so many hours in a day and especially if you want to really build a meaningful life with rich relationships and a life that you are proud of you can't be working all the time and the Lord just really showed me that I needed to build a team. So that's what he's really been leading me in the last couple of months. When you're alone, you can go as fast as you can. You can go as fast as you want. No one's stopping you. You don't have to rely on anyone, but when you go with a team, it takes slower because I'm trying to build this team. Not trying, I, because I am building a team, because I am training and I'm interviewing people and I'm coming up with systems and I'm basically having to teach people the things that I've been doing on autopilot for the last three years. It's causing me to slow down and I hate hate slowing down. I love to just go, 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 check off the boxes, get it done, move forward, charge forward. I mean, y'all maybe noticed like I haven't been posting as much and that's made me so sad because I want to post more, but I can't with doing, you know, team building. And my nature is like, I just want to write, speak, create content that helps you guys. I don't want to come up with business stuff. That's not what I wanted to, <laughs> but the Lord is just allowing me to slow down and encouraging me to slow down so that I can ultimately speed up with the team. My goal is to build a production company to put out this content that helps young women grow in their faith. Right now that goal feels impossible, but anything is possible with the Lord. And I know I'm gonna look back on this video I know I'm gonna look back on it a year from now and be like, girl, I'm so glad you stuck with it because God sent you the right people. He sent you the right team, created a team culture where people love where they work, they love what they do. Also just creating great content for you guys, not by myself, but with a body of people who are bringing about this mission and launching it even further than I would by myself. Doing new things is hard because you feel really uncomfortable. You're used to your same old rhythms and habits, even if they're unhealthy. So when you start doing things that are quote unquote 
healthier, the Lord is leading you to do these things, almost feel more uncomfortable changing your lifestyle than if you were to just continue doing the same things that you're used to. Whatever it is, it's like your big thing this year that you wanna do, you, you feel the Lord is leading you in, just go, keep going, even if you feel really uncomfortable and even if you feel like it's taking a long time, just because it's taking a long time doesn't mean it's not going to happen. I'm just making it my goal to trust him with every aspect of my future, with this team, with my husband, wherever he is, whoever he is. I know he's out there. I want you guys to be trusting him too. And whenever we're anxious, I've been so anxious the past couple of weeks, just feeling like I'm, I'm losing speed, feeling like I'm losing momentum. The Lord says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. If I'm anxious, that is my sign. Homegirl needs to pray. Anxious about the team? Homegirl needs to pray. Anxious about my husband? Homegirl needs to pray. I've just been like a praying machine lately. I've just developed that habit. There's a habit in praying when you're anxious versus going to your mom when you're anxious versus going to Google search engine when you're anxious versus just going on social media when you're anxious. Whoever's under the sound of my voice right now, I just wanna pray for you. So I'm gonna pray right now under the sound of my voice if any of y'all are anxious. In Jesus' name, God, I thank you for the person who is watching this on the other side of the screen, God, the son or daughter who's listening to this, Lord God, I pray, Father God, under the sound of my voice, that all anxiety and fear would be cast off in the name of Jesus. Spirit of fear, you have got to go because this child of God has not been given a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And I speak that over them in the name of Jesus, God. And I pray, Father, that today, instead of being anxious, they would lift up every single thing that's making them anxious and they would lift it up to you in the name of Jesus and they would petition and they would pray and they would come into your thrones with praise and thanksgiving over this thing, God, just knowing that your peace will guard their hearts and minds and God, that when we cast our anxieties on you, you move and what we're anxious about, you move on our prayers. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective, God, and we just believe that in the name of of Jesus and so we just pray for peace over their lives today and we just thank you that you're not done with their life in Jesus name amen if there's anything you watch from this video I hope it's that part It's her birthday, say happy birthday. Yeah, I'm myself. No, I'm telling them to say happy birthday to you. So they're saying, hey, happy birthday. Ah, she's 23. We're cheersing. Cheers to her birthday. Blessing. Just met with my sweet friend Nina for her birthday. She's just a gem of a human being. It's so cool to see what God has done in her life. Past six months, she's been in Nashville. It's just so cool. I'm really needing a break from all of these interviews. So I'm going to walk on my walking pad. This is the walking pad. Guys, I know this is there and it's just like, I need to clean my office. This is it and I just have so many things to pray about. Normally I go on my prayer walk, but I just wanna walk on my walking pad and just go to town praying. I just wanna pray for 30 minutes straight walking. I'm an external processor fam, if you have not noticed. I have to talk physically out loud to the Father and then listen for his response like I have to he's my dad he helps me and he tells me what to do and so I feel like right now I'm making so many decisions there's so much going on I just need to talk to the father for tonight we have a kale bowl with red pepper onion a Dijon lemon dressing and tofu guys I'm obsessed with tofu now and Will and I are just having a wholesome conversation oh, wow. super wholesome Alright angels, so I just got back from a wholesome dessert moment with my brother and we just chatted about life, about all things. I'm just excited for what God is gonna do. I'm just in the middle of, Lord, what are you doing? How is any of this gonna happen? But I know I'm gonna look back one day and it will have happened and he will have done it in Jesus' name. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so much. Bye.